Hi, everyone. It is, what is it, August 7? U.S. uses banned white phosphorus bombs in Syrian city for the fourth time in two months. Yet the International Committee of the Red Cross has stated that employing asphyxiating, poisonous, or other gases and all analogous liquids materials or devices is listed in the statute of the International Criminal Court as a war crime. White phosphorus. Yeah. Uh, what about that thing about those unnecessary wars? Yeah. Those campaign pledges. Those promises made on the campaign trail. They don't seem to mean much, U.S.-led coalition in Syria, has been accused of using white phosphorus incendiary munitions for the first, fourth time since mid-September 2018. Also in 2017, they were using it uh, banned internationally. Well, yeah, does the United States care? No, but the reason why I'm bringing this up is because, hey Arizona, Air Force jet accidentally fires white phosphorus rocket over Arizona. Oops. Well, it was just a mistake. No problem. Yeah, it was unintentional. It was released a M156 rocket at 10.40 a.m. during a training mission. Ah, unauthorized release of this M156 rocket in an area not designated for live fire landed over Davis Monthan uh, Air Force Base, over the Air Force Base, in a remote desert area, specifically at a remote desert wash near Mount Graham. This training area is not designated for munitions release, but it's a uninhabited area. Uninhabited? That means humans. How about all other life that got burned to death? CBS described here. They say there were no injuries, damage, or fires from the accidental launch of the white phosphorus projectile in the Jackal military operations area, which is about 60 miles northeast of Tucson. Oops. When is the next accidental release? Remember, my God, what was it? 2016, 2015? All of those accidental releases of, well, there were boxes of bullets or I don't know, like, oops, sorry, dropped it from the helicopter and oh, there were other things dropped from military helicopters. Well, white phosphorus is used by the military in various types of ammunition to produce smoke for concealing troop movement and to identify targets. Really? That's it. Well, if you believe that, I got a bridge to sell you. White phosphorus can cause skin to melt down to the bone and further is able to stick to clothing and the body continuing to burn unchecked as more particles are exposed to the air. It's similar to napalm. It creates spontaneous explosive fire in a broad area. Well, here, Iraq, Syria, danger from U.S. white phosphorus? Take all needed measures to minimize civilian harm? Do you think our U.S. military does that? You know, any military that uses this, as you can see, it is being used on a civilian area. This is pure, pure, unadulterated evil taking place. And the U.S. and other countries are well known for it. 
Use of artillery delivered white phosphorus by the United States led coalition fighting ISIS. Didn't Trump say ISIS? We, we were victorious over ISIS. Oh, that's right. And then the next week he said we weren't sending more troops to Syria. Oh, but then we were victorious over ISIS again, and then we weren't, and well, okay. Yeah, the ISIS forces in Syria and Iraq raises serious questions about the protection of civilians. It should never be used as a incendiary weapon to attack personnel or material in populated areas, even when delivered from the ground. No matter how white phosphorus is used, it poses a high risk of horrific and long-lasting harm in crowded cities like Raqqa and Mosul, Mosul and any other areas with concentrations of civilians. U.S.-led forces should take all feasible precaution to minimize civilian harm. I will tell you. I, I, look, it's uh, been established that our U.S. forces, they don't really care about much of anything except seizing, controlling, occupying countries, stealing, 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 murdering in the process. U.S. forces are using white phosphorus in both Mosul in Iraq and in the ISIS stronghold of Raqqa in Syria, but the rationale for its use by U.S. coalition forces is unclear, as the coalition does not comment on specific incidents. Raqqa is a residential city. A Raqqa resident living in Beirut told the New York Times that an internet cafe in Raqqa was recently hit by white phosphorus killing around 20 people. Well, if you think of all of the ways in which you could die, this is probably, this, this would probably be at the end of your list. Yes video, U.S. warplanes bomb ISIS neighborhoods in Raqqa with incendiary airstrikes. Ain't it great? Well, we are a signatory to the Convention of Conventional Weapons, which bans the use of white phosphorus. Oh, hell, we've been signatories to everything that we just don't care, we betray. All right, and that's from the start of this exceptional, morally superior country. Yeah, gotta love it, huh? All links are below. Uh, yeah. Arizona. Oops. Sorry. <laughs>